chase a chick. Never chase a bitch. Mask on. Fuck it, mask. Hi. Sorry to interrupt your feed looking like this. I don't even know what this is. I can't tell y'all how many times it took me to get that right. And here is the inspo for today. Beautiful, I know, right? So of course I gotta do it, but make sure you go check her out. She has amazing content and great tutorials. Okay, so I went ahead and did my base off camera because we already know how to do that. So I'm taking my Juvia's palette, if I can get her open, and we're going in with this like dark maroon shade. And y'all know what it is. We're gonna use that tapping motion to place it that place it that right in our crease what I also like to do is like tap it in and then rub just a little bit you know you're doing that tapping motion right when you see your eye doing a whole bunch of weird stuff bada bing bada boom now that we have that shade we are going to buff this out so it's easier to blend the other colors now we're going to take a little bit of that orange shade and just place it right on top of that blend and now for the yellow, since this one is like way too yellow, I'm going to take my other Juvia's palette and I'm going with this yellow. And yes, I know this palette's disgusting. Don't judge it. We're going to place that just a little bit on that orange. Now I'm going to be taking this brown shade to kind of deepen that up just a bit. We're going to blend it out. And I mean, just look at that beautiful blend. Now time to cut that crease. I should know I always cut my crease with my P. Louise base. Now we're just going to add that color back in. I just placed a little bit of glitter primer right on that empty space. I'm not going to be using the same glitter she did, but I am going to use just a nice subtle shimmer. Like honestly, you could just stop here, throw on some lashes or mascara and boom, bam, you're good to go. But of course I have to add some rhinestones. I'm going to go do it off camera so we can come back and finish this transition. All right, now all I got to do is take this hair down and I thought it would be cool to see how it looks with y'all. Oh, wait, that made it curly. I literally did nothing. I put nothing in my hair and it's curly. It was supposed to just be curly at the end because it was a blowout. Oh, I hope this pulls together because I really wasn't looking for like a super curly hairstyle. I mean, the bounce is severe. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh my God. This is, this is not going to be it, y'all. Like, why does my hair look like this? I literally just rolled it up with my fingers and pinned it. Like, it should not be this curly. Like, I'm looking like Miss Shirley Temple over here. Let's do the shake test. Hopefully something works out. Okay, I kind of fixed my hair. It still looks like I got big Texas volume, but whatever. Honestly, I just did the whole blowout thing again. Okay, I went ahead and put some lashes on and a little bit of a different lipstick, so let's get into this transition finally. Mask on. Mask on. Mask on. Mask on. Mask on. Mask on. 